Ευλογητό ο Θεό ημών πάντοτε νυν και αη και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Δόξαση ο Θεό ημών, δόξαση βασιλεύ ουράνιε παράκλητε το πνεύμα τη αληθεία ο πανταχού παρών και τα πάντα πληρών. Ο θησαυρό των αγαθών και ζωή σου οριγό ελθέ και σκύνωσον εν ημίν. Και καθάρισον ημά υπό πάση κυλίδο και σώσον αγαθέτα ψυχά ημών. Άγιο ο Θεό, Άγιο ισχυρό, Άγιο ο θάνατο ελέησον ημά. Άγιο ο Θεό, Άγιο ισχυρό, Άγιο ο θάνατο ελέησον ημά. Άγιο ο Θεό, Άγιο ισχυρό, Άγιο ο θάνατο ελέησον ημά. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγιο πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και ίσω αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. Παναγία τριά ελέησον ημά. Κύριε η λάστι τη αμαρτία ημών. Δέσποτα συγχώρησον τη ονομία ημών. Άγιε επίσκεψε και ίασε τη ασθενεία ημών. Ενεκέν του ονοματό σου. Κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγιο πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και ίσω αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. Πάτερ μόνο εν τη ουρανή, αγιαστεί το το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθεί το το θέλημά σου, ω τον ουρανό και επί τη γη, των άρτων ημών των επιούσιων, δώση μην σήμερα, και άφεση μην τα ωφελήματα ημών, ω και εμεί αφήμε τι εφελέτε ημών, και μη ει ενέγγυση μα πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε εμά από του πονηρού. Ότι σου έστειν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού. Του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Save, O Lord, your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross, protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you, peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the devout and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for our Archbishop Makario. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we offer glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord Father, bless. Glory to the holy, coessential, and life giving and indivisible Trinity, always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all round. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. 
O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope, you will hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and are become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Ο Θεό, ο Θεό μου, προσεωθρίζω, εδίψησε σε η ψυχή μου. Προσαπλώσει σάξ μου, εν γερή μου και αβάτο και ανίδρο. Ούτω εν το αγίο όφθην, το ειδήν τη δύναμή σου και την δόξαν σου. Ό,τι κλείσουν το ελαιό σου, υπερζωά στα χείλη μου, εν επένουσήσει. Ούτω ευλογήσου εν τη ζωή μου και εν το όνομα τη σου αρώτα χειρά μου. Ω εξ θεότητο και ποιότητο εμπλήστη η ψυχή μου και χίλια γαλιάσε ω ενέσω το στόμα μου. Η εμνημονεύομένση επί τη τρομνή μου εν τη όθρη σε μελέτων εσέ. Ό,τι εγενήθη βοηθό μου και τη σκέπη το πτερίγο σου αγαλιάσομε. Εκολύθη ψυχή μου απίσω σου εμού δε αντελάβε το δεξιά σου. Αυτό δε ει μάτιν εζήτησαν την ψυχή μου. Ισελεύσονται ει τα κατώτατα τη γη. Παραδοθήσονται ει χείρα ρομφαία μερίδα αλλοπέκων έσονται. Ο δε βασιλεύσε εφρανθήσετε επί το Θεό. Επενεθήσετε πα ο ομνίων εν αυτό. Ό,τι εφράγει στο μαλαλούν τα άδικα. Εν τη όθρη σε μελέτων εσέ ότι εγενήθη σε βοηθό μου. Και τη σκέπη το πτερίγο σου αγαλιάσομε. Εκολύθη ψυχή μου πίσω σου. Εμού δε αντελάβω το δεξιά σου. Δόξα πατρί και αιώ και αγιο πνεύματι και νυν και αι και στου αιώνα των αιώνων να μην. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord, for my soul is filled with sorrows and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, that they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places <clears throat> and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O oh Lord, I cry to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth. But having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me neighbor and friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Ευλόγη ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και πάντα τα εντός μου το όνομα το Άγιον αυτού. Ευλόγη ψυχή μου τον Κύριο και μη επιλανθάνου πάσες τα σαν τα ποδόσεις αυτού. Τον ευηλατεύοντα πάσες τα σαν ομοίες σου, τον ιόμενον πάσες τα νόσους σου. 
το λυτρούμενον εκ φθορά στη ζωή σου, το στεφανώντα εν ελέη και εκ τυρμή, τον επιπλώντα εν αγαθή στην επιθυμία σου ανακαινιστήσετε ω αετού η νεότη σου. Ποιόν ελεημοσύνα ο κύριο και κρίμα πάση τη αδικουμένη, εγνώρισε τα σοδού αυτού το Μωησί τη Ιη Ισραήλ τα θελήματα αυτού. Ικτήρμον και ελεήμον ο κύριο μακρόθυμο και πολυέλο, ουκή τέλο οργιστήσετε ουδέη στον αιώνα μηνύη. Ου κατά τα σαμαρτία ημών υπήρξε ημίν, ημίν, ουδέ κατά τα σαμαρτία ημών, ανταπέδο και ημίν. Ότι κατά το ύψο του ουρανού από τη γη σε κρατέω σε κύριο το έλεο αυτού, έπι του φοβουμένου αυτών. Καθώ τον απέχουσαν ανατολέ από δυσμόνε μάκρυνα να φημών τα σανομία ημών. Καθώ η κτήρη πατήριου ο κτήρη σε κύριο του φοβουμένου αυτών. Ότι αυτό έγνω το πλάσμα ημών εμνίστη ο τυχού έσμεν. Άνθρωπο ω η χόρτο σε ημέρα αυτού, ω η άνθο του αγρού το σε ξανθήσει. Ό,τι πνεύμα διήλθεν εν αυτό και ουχ υπάρξει και ουχ επεγνώσεται επί το τόπον αυτού. Το δε έλεο του κυρίου αυτό από του αιώνο και ω του αιώνο επί του φοβουμένου αυτών. Και η δικαιοσύνη αυτού επί ίσιον τη φυλάσσουση την διαθήκη αυτού και με μνημένη των εντολών αυτού του ποιήσε αυτά. Κύριο είναι τα ουρονοετοίμαση των θρόνων αυτού και η βασιλεία αυτού πάντων δεσπόζει. Ευλογείται τον κύριο πάντε οι άγγελοι αυτού. Δυνατοί ισχύει ποιούνται στο λόγο αυτού του, ακούσε τι φωνή των λόγων αυτού. Ευλογείται τον κύριο πάσε δυνάμει αυτού, λειτουργεί αυτού, ποιούνται στο θέλημα αυτού. Ευλογείται τον κύριο πάντα τα έργα αυτού, εν παντή τόπο τη δεσποτεία αυτού. Ευλόγη η ψυχή μου τον κύριο. Εν παντή τόπο τη δεσποτεία αυτού, ευλόγη η ψυχή μου τον κύριο. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, he humbled my life to the ground, he caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me, my heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. Κυρίου δε ηθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ της άνωθεν ειρήνης και της σωτηρίας των ψυχών ημών, Κυρίου δε ηθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ της ειρήνης του σύμπαντος κόσμου, ευσταθίας των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών, της των πάντων ενός αιώς του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτούτου και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού ισιόντων εν αυτό του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Μακαρίου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της εν Χριστώ διακονίας, παντός του κλήρου και του λαού του Κυρίου δε ηθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ της πόλεως ταύτης Πάσης πόλεως και χώρας και τον πίστη οικούντων εν αυτές του Κυρίου δεηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησον. Υπέρ ευκρασίας αέρον εφορίας των καρπών της γης και καιρών ειρηνικών του Κυρίου δεηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησον. Υπέρ πλέον των οδηπορούντων, νοσούντων, καμνών των εχμαλώτων και της σωτηρίας αυτών. 
Κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, υπέρ του ριστίνε ημάς υποπάσης θλίψε ως οργής, κινδύνου και ανάγκης του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη, Κύριε Λέησον, της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινήσιμων Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες, ε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή νημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθο. Συγκύριε. Ότι πρέπει σι πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκύνηση στο Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την ειν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν Θεός Κύριος και πεφανέν ημήν ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος in the name of the Kyrie. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Πάντα τα εθνική γλωσσάμε και το όνομα του Κύριου ημιν άμυν αυτούς. Θεός Κύριος και πέφανεν ημιν ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κύριου. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Εξ ύψους κατήλθες ο ευσπλάχνος, κατά φύν κατέδεξο τριημέρον, ή να είμας ελευθέρωσης των παθών, η ζωή και η Ανάσταση σημών, Κύριε, δόξασή. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, you descended from on high, O compassionate one, and consented to a three-day burial, to free us from the passions of Lord, our life and resurrection, glory to you. Και νυν και αι και στου αιώνα των αιώνων, αμήν. Ο Δήμα γεννηθή εκ Παρθένου και Σταύρου συνυπομείνασα. Γάθε ο θανάτο των θάνατων σκυλέσα. Και γερσινίξα ω Θεό. Μη παρήδη σου και πλασά στη χείρι σου. Δείξον την φιλανθρωπία σου ελεήμων. Δέξε την δεκούσα σε Θεοτόκον, πρεσβεύουσαν υπερημών και σώσον σωτήριμων λαών απεγνωσμένων. Έτσι και έτσι εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, Κύριε Λέησον, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητης, Κύριε Λέησον, της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες, ε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή νημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθο. Συγκύριε. Ότι ισόν το κράτος και σου εστιν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, ανέστης εκ νεκρών η ζωή των απάντων και άγγελος φωτός τες γυναιξίνευω, παύσαστε των δακρύων της Αποστόλης Ευαγγελίσαστε, κράξατε ανυμνούσε ότι ανέστη Χριστός ο Κύριος, ο ευδοκίσας ως Θεός, Θεός το γένος των αν. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, having risen indeed from the tomb, my Lord, as recorded in Scripture, He told the devout women to proclaim Your resurrection to the apostles. Then Peter came out and he ran to the tomb. He was amazed, beholding the light in the sepulchre. 
looking in, he saw that your holy body was missing. The napkin and linen cloths were by themselves lying separately. Then he believed it and cried aloud, Glory to you, Christ our God, for you save all your people, O Saviour. You are the reflection of the Father's glory. Και νυν και αίκε στου αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν, την ουράνια πύλη και κυβωτών. <coughs> Το πανάγιο νόρο στη φωταυγή, νεφέλη νυμνήσομεν την ουράνιο κλίμακα. Των λογικών παράδεισων τη Εύα στην λύτρωσιν. Τη οικουμένη πάση στο μέγα κοιμήλιον. Ότι σωτηρία εν αυτή διαπράχθη. Το κόσμο και άφεση των αρχαίων εγκλημάτων. Δια του το βόμεν αυτή. Πρέσβευε το σώιο και θεό. Τον τεσμάτο αναφεσίν δωρήσαστε. Τη ευσεβώ προσκυνούσε την Παναγίων το κονσού. Human beings put a seal on your tomb, an angel rolled the stone away from its door. Women saw you risen from the dead, O oh Savior, and they brought the joyful news to your disciples in Zion that you, the life of all, had risen. And that the bonds of death were shattered, glory to you, O Lord. Doxa Patrikeo ke yo pneumati, ta mira ti sta fise gine ke skomi sase. Foni sangeli ki se tu ta fui kuon. Pasas te ton da krion ke andilipis haran komi sase. Κράξατε αν ύμνουσε ότι ανέστη Χριστός ο Κυρίος. Ο ευδοκής σας σώσε ως Θεός το γένος των ανθρώπων. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. In you, O Lady, full of grace, all creation rejoices. The hosts of angels and the human race together. O consecrated temple and allegorical paradise, virgins boast of you, for God became incarnate from you. Our eternally existing God became a child from you. He made a throne of your womb, and he made your body wider than the heavens. In you, O lady full of grace, For creation rejoices, glory to you. Ευλογητό η κυρία, δίδαξον με τα δικαιώματά σου. Τον αγγέλων ο Δήμο κατεπλάγει ορόνσε. Εν νεκρή λογισθέντα του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισχύν καθελώντα. Και συνε αυτό τον αδάμε γύραντα. Και εξάδου πάντα σε ελευθερό σαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in your tomb cried to the myrrh bearing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Ευλογητό η κυρία, δίδαξον με τα δικαιώματά σου. Λία πρωί, μυροφόρια έθραμον προ το μνήμα σου θρηνολογούσε. Άλλε πέστη προ αυτά ο άγγελο και είπε: Θρήνου ο καιρό, πεπαυτέ μη κλέτε. Την ανάσταση νε αποστολή είπατε. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your precepts. When the myrrh bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. 
Why do you account among the dead the one who lives for as God he has risen from the sepulchre? Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι προσκυνούμεν πατέρα και τον τούτου ιόντα και το αγίο πνεύμα την αγία τριάδα εν μια διουσία συν τη σεραφίμ κράζονται στο αγίο αγίο. Agios y Kyrie, both now and forever and to the ages of ages, Amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o theos. In peace, let us again pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Into mind, our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For blessed is your name, and glorified is your kingdom, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The myrrh-bearing women went to the tomb of the giver of life, seeking the immortal Master among the dead. And receiving good tidings of joy from the angel, they reported to the apostles that the Lord had risen, granting the great mercy to the world. And seek Let those who hate Zion become like the grass before it is plucked up, for Christ will also cut the necks with the cutting blade of torment. Αγίο πνεύμα τι το ζητά πάντα φως εκ φωτός Θεός μέγας Συμπατρίμνουμεν αυτόν και τον λόγο Let my heart be humble-minded and covered with the fear of you, O Lord Lest it be exalted and fall from you Compassionate Master, Epiton Kirio no Evsikos Elpida Udisitote, O te pirita panda crini que colasi. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, every person sees and speaks as a prophet. They do sublime miracles, praising the one God in three persons. For though it shines with threefold light, yet the Godhead rules as monarch. <laughs> Και κάθαρον πριν άρισμε από τον ενθέδε. Everyone who sets in the earth his mother will again return thence to receive the torments or honors for his life's actions. Δόξα πατρικαίου και αγίου πνεύματι και νυν και αίγη στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Αγίο πνεύματι θεολογία μόν Nastris Aia, O Patir Garanarchos, Exu Efio Ios Achronos, Ket O Pnema Symphoron Synthronon, Ek Patros in Eclamsan. Behold now what is so good, O 
house so pleasant as for brothers to dwell together. For in this the Lord has promised life everlasting. Του ενδύματο αυτού ο τακρίνα του αγροκόσμων και λέβει μη δεν φροντίζειν. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, the unifying cause, all things are sustained in peaceful coexistence. This is so, for He is God with the Father. And the Son being truly one in essence. Βασιλεύσει Κύριος εις τον αιώνα, ο Θεός ως Ιων εις γενναιάν και γενναιάν. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Εν η ψυχή μου τον Κύριο. Βασιλεύσει Κύριος εις τον αιώνα, ο Θεός ως Ιων, Is yenean ke yenean. Armatila tin farao evithis eterga turgus apote mosai kira avgos stavroti pos pliksa sa ke dielus a thalasa Israel de figada pezonodi tin diesosen. Asma to Theo anamel ponda. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. How can we all not be amazed by the almighty divinity of Christ? From the Savior's passion, pour out in corruption and dispassion to believers all. From His holy side that was pierced, ever flows an immortal fount. From his empty tomb, everlasting life. Doxa ti agia Anastasis o Kyrie, os ev prepistes ginexin o angelos nin epefaniste, ke tin lavi feron ti sefi tu simbola, ilu katharoti to simorfin de minion. Το φέγκος της Αναστάσεως κράζον εξηγέρθει ο Κύριος. Most holy Theotokos, save us. All generations call you blessed, proclaiming glorious things concerning you. As the only woman who held God the Logos in her womb, remaining ever pure virgin mother of God, therefore we the faithful will honor you. As our mighty champion after God, O Sire, to the Upras we be perimon. Charitos peplis manos, charas mu plirosson. Tim zichin e penes e ton vion su alipie, ke tim bolitian su dis pandas i franas. Is angelos agonisamenos. Devout saint of God, intercede for us. God sanctified you as another Samuel. From your mother's womb, blessed Alipios, and seeing the things said before, he made you as a divine prophet. Admirable one, Doxa Patrice, O Ke Agio Pneumati, in a Theos di Losi, tin silam brotita on in peristerones yes, kalos agonisamenos fotos tio eplise tu texende sosie. To the mighty and the perennial, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. The fulfilment of the saying of the Yogas prophet has come. For behold, the virgin born God in the flesh, restoring mortals previously crushed by the transgressions of sin. Os tereos as katarhas tu suranus en sinesi katigin epida ton etrasas en di petra me Christe ti se klisias tirison oti u kesti plinsu 
Hai os mona philanthropa Glory to your holy resurrection O Lord Condemned was Adam when he ate and tasted sin in the garden but by your physical passion that has saved us vindicated him O Lord because you were not liable to have to undergo death since you were sinless, O Christ our God. Oxa Thea Ye Anastasi Su Kyrie, Tis Anastase Ostofos, Excelam Se Tis En Skoti, Tu Thanatu Ke Skia Kathimenis, O Theos Mu Iosis, Ke Tin Aftu Theotiti, Ton Ishiron Desmevsas, Tu to taskevi dir pase. Most holy Theotokos, save us. You are superior to all the angels, O Theotokos. The cherubim and seraphim of virgin. Only you held in your womb, God, who is uncontainable. And therefore, all believers ever, ever extol you and call you blessed. O sie tu theu presbeve perimon Os lignos epilignis ans ta seos critonos epitethimenos te selas foros su patera retes pasam sihim pistos i prosiusan efsevor fronos catelambrinas scotus samartias litrumenos Devout saint of God, intercede for us, <laughs> directing the sacred movements of your mind towards the keeping of the divine laws of the Spirit. You were shown to be an angel upon the earth, taking up the conduct of the angels while in the flesh, God bearing Father, Alipio. Oxa Patrike, O Kayo Pnevmati, Ekfronos ton of Iron to view Aidime, Metanastas of This, Ke prosehorisas, prosaskitikis diagogis, Tascamata prothimos, Tin sin cardia nikitirion, O si edicnion. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, I mean, Virgin, the pure palace of the Logos, show my soul to be a home of the Spirit. Spring of living water, give me to drink, for I am burned by the flames of sin, so that I may glorify you is proper. Eti ke eti en irini tu kiriu de ithome. Antilavus oson eleison ke diafilaxon imas o Theos ti si chariti. Eleison. Spanagia sa chrando iperevlogimeni sen doxu de spinisimon Theo toku ki ai parthenu Marias me tapandon tu na gia omnimonev sandes. E aftus ki alilus ke pasan tin zoi nimon Christo to Theo parazo metho. Ότι εσύ ο Θεός ημών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομαι το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την ειν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Σημεών ημιν όφης αλλοσοφέ το γαρσόμα υψώσα στη λοεκής ο Πάτερ αλήπιε των δαιμόνων τας φάλαγγας, έτροπος ο Θεόφρον πικρός κατημόζοντας, και οι Σαββάτους τόπους αυτούς απεδίωξας, όθεν και δείχθης εν καλόπις μαθείων, πατέρων το καύχημα μοναζόντων το στήριμα, δια πιστιβόμενσι, Πρέσβευε Χριστό το Θεό, το πνεσμάτο αναφεσυντορίσαστε, 
της εορτάζου υπόθω την Αγία Μνήμη Σου. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. I am dirty, O Virgin, for I began from a young age polluting my sorry soul. With sins both in word and deed I completely defiled myself. And now I do not know what to do or where else to go. There is no other hope that I know of except for you. Woe to me, the worthless servant, therefore I run now. To you, all immaculate, Theodokos, and pray to you, and confess that I have sinned. Intercede with your Son and our God, that he grant me forgiveness of offenses. O Lady, I have set my every hope on you. Ετικέτη εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου δεηθόμε, αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχαρητή. Κύριε ελέησον, Παναγία Σαχράντο υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δέσποινης ημών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες, ε αυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Κύριε Κύριε ο βασιλεύς της ειρήνης και σωτήρ των ψυχών ημών και σε την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των Amen. When you rose from the grave, you also raised the dead, and you resurrected Adam. Because of your resurrection, Eve is rejoicing, and people the world over celebrate your resurrection from the dead, O very merciful Lord. O very merciful Lord. When you ransacked the realm of Hades, and you raised the dead, O long-suffering Master, you met the myrrh-bearing women, and you gave them joy in place of sorrow. You showed your apostles the marks of your victory, O Saviour and Giver of life, and you illumined creation, O benevolent God. Therefore the world also celebrates your resurrection from the dead, O very merciful Lord. O very merciful Lord. On November the 26th, we commemorate our devout father, Alipios the Stylite, on this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Stylianos of Paphlagonia. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Kakios, who is mentioned in the Ladder of Divine Ascent. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Iakovos the Anchorite. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Nikon, Repent. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Silos, Bishop of Persia, we remember the consecration of the Church of St. George in Kiparisos. Holy Neomartyr George, who competed in Chios in 1807, died by the sword. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Christos yenate doxasate, Christos ex apandisate, Christos epigis ipsofite, asate to Kyrio pasai ke nefrosini animnisate lai oti de doxaste to the Son begotten. Without flux of the Father before the ages, and who was lately made incarnate of the Virgin without seed, to Christ God now let us cry aloud. You have exalted the horn of our strength. Only you are holy. Jesse's root 
produced a branch of Christ, and you its flower blossom forth from the virgin who by Habakkuk prophetically once was called. Overshadowed dense mountain, from her who knew not man you came incarnate, the immaterial God, glory to your power, O Lord. Theosonirinis patirikthirmon, tis megalis vulisuton angelon, Irinin parechomenon apestilasimin, O Thel Theognosias, prosfoso diithendes, ecnictros o threesondes doxologumen se philanthropes. Such as it received, Jonah as an embryo, the sea beast disgorged him from its bowels intact with the virgin, though when the Logos had dwelt in her taking on flesh, he came forth from her, preserving her yet incorrupt, for from her no fluxion suffered he, and he kept her unaltered in childbirth. He bathes of Sevilla sin, patrafendes, visevus prostamatos cataphronisandes, piros apilinu kepto ithisan, allen mesotis flogos estotes epsalon, O ton bateron Theos evlogitosi. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Babylon's bedewing furnace bore the image of an extraordinary wonder, for it did not burn the use it accepted. Nor did the fire of divinity consume the virgin's womb wherein it went. So let us melodiously chant in praise. Let all creation bless and extol the Lord. And let it exalt him supremely to the ages. Άγιος ή ο Θεός ημών και να γης επαναπάβεις και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την ειν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν πάσα πνοή ενεσάτω των Κύριων Let everything that breathes praise the Lord ενεσάτω πνοή Πάσα τον Κύριο. Και υπέρ του καταξιώθηνε ημάς της ακροάσεως του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου, Κύριον των Θεών ημών, ικετεύσομαι. Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Κύριε Λαϊσόν, Κύριε Λαϊσόν. Σοφία ορθή, ακούσομεν του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου. Ειρήνη πάση. Και το πνεύμα της σου. The reading is from the Gospel according to Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. When Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. But when they heard that he was alive, and had been seen by her, they would not believe it. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them as they were walking into the country. And they went back and told the rest, but they did not believe them either. After this, he appeared to the eleven themselves as they sat at table 
and he upbraided them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had risen. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that attended it. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Ελέησαν με ο Θεός κατά το Μέγα Ελαιό Σου και κατά το πλήθος των νύκτυρμών Σου εξάλειψαν το ανώμημά μου. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. Ότι την ανώμια μου εγώ γινώσκω και η αμαρτία μου ενωπιών μου εστί διαπαντώ. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. Η δούγαρα να νομίε συνελήφθη και να μαρτίε σε κυσίσε με ημίτυρ μου. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. Grandis me so puke catharistis o me, plinis me ke hyperchion alef cathis o me. You shall make me hear joy and gladness, my bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Αποστρέψον το πρόσωπον σου από τον αμαρτιόν μου και πάσα στις ανομίες μου εξάλειψον. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Η απορρίψεις με από του προσώπου σου και το πνεύμα σου το Άγιον μη αντανέλης απ' εμού. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. Διδάξω ανώμου στα σώδου σου και ασεβείς επί σε επιστρέψου σύ. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. Κύριε, τα χείλη μου ανοίξεις και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ενεσήν σου. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. 
You will not be pleased with open offerings. Θυσία το Θεό, πνεύμα συντετριμένο, καρδία συντετριμένη και τεταπεινωμένη ο Θεός, ουκ εξουδενώσει. To good I, Lord, in your good pleasure, tis a God, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Τότε ευδοκίσεις της Ιαν δικαιοσύνης αναφοράν και ολοκαυτώματα. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Δόξα Πατρί και ο Κιάγιο Πνεύματι τες των Αποστόλων πρεσβείες ελεήμων Εξαλείψαν τα πλήθη των αιμών εγκλημάτων. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Ελεησόν με ο Θεός κατά το Μέγα Ελεό Σου, και κατά το πλήθος των νυχθυρμών σου εξάλειψον το ανώμημά μου. Αναστάσω Ιησούς από του τάφου καθώς προείπεν εδώ κι αν ημίν την αιώνιον ζωή και μέγα ελαιό. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure Lady Theotokos and of the Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the Honorable, Glorious Prophet and Forerunner John the Baptist, the Holy, Glorious and Praiseworthy Apostles, the Holy, Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, of our Holy and God-bearing Fathers, of the Holy, Great Martyr George, the Trophy Bearer, the Patron of this Church, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Yoikimanana, and of the saints whose memory we keep today, our holy fathers, Alipios the Stylite, Nikon of Metanoite, and Stylianos the Paphlagonian, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Mercy, compassion, and love for humankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Ψυχή μου τον κύριο και γαλλία σε το πνεύμα μου. Επί το Θεό το σωτήρι μου. Την τιμιότερα των χερούβιμ και εντοξότερα να συγκρίτω στον σεραφίμ. Την αδία φθόρο θεών λόγων τεκούσα. Την όντω θεό το κοντσε μεγαλίνω με. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, 
O behold, henceforth for generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Ότι επίσε μη μεγαλία ο δυνατός και άγιο το όνομα αυτού και το έλεος αυτού εις γένεα και γένεα της φοβουμένης αυτό. Την τιμή ο τέραν των χερούβιμ και ενδοξοτέραν να συγκρίτως των σεραφίμ την αδία φθόρος Θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεό τόχων σε μεγαλύνομεν. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Τα φίλε δυνάστας από θρόνο, και ύψωσε ταπεινούς πεινώντες εν έπλησεν αγαθών, και πλουτούντας εξαπέστηλε καινούς, την τιμή ο τέραν των χερούβιμ και ενδοξοτέραν να συγκρίτως των σεραφίμ την αδία φθόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομεν. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Μεγαλύνομ ψυχή μου την τιμή ο τέραν και εν δόξω τέραν των άνων στρατευμάτων μυστηρίων ξένων ορών και παραδόξων ουρανών των σπηλαίων θρόνων χερουβικών την παρθένων την φάτνη χωρίων ενώ αν εκλήθη ο αγόρητος Χριστός ο Θεός ον ανυμνούντες μεγαλύνον In peace let us again pray to the Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Bring to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and offer up glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Aios Kyrios O Theosimon. Holy is the Lord our God. Υψούτε Κύριον τον Θεόν ημών και προσκυνείτε το υποποδίο των ποδών αυτού. Ότι Άγιος εστί, ο 
ότι Χριστός εγίγερτε μη της διοπιστήτω εφώνη τη Μαρία γάρ επί τα καφοράθη της εισαγρών απειούσι μίστες δε πάλιν όφθη ανακειμένης ενδεκα ους βαπτίζειν εκπέμψας εις ουρανούς όθεν καταβεύηκεν ανελήθη επί κουρών το κήρυγμα πλήθεσι των σημείων. You have risen today, O Son, the bridegroom from his chamber, from your holy sepulchre, after despoiling Hades and making death ineffective, heed now the intercessions of your mother and send us light, light divine that illumines our hearts and souls. To us all send out the light that is guiding our feet into the ways of peace and paths of your But you rose and you have granted our souls in 
incorruptibility. And it have to be the zenasties of two, and it have to catatoplithos this megalosinis of two. Kyrie oplontata to the avolu, ton stavron su imin the docas, friti garketre mi mi feron kathoran. Αυτού την δύναμη ότι νεκρούσαν ιστά και θάνατον κατήργησε διά του το προσκυνούμεν την ταφήν σου και την έγεση. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. Your angel who announced your resurrection On the one hand frightened The soldiers guarding your tomb, O Lord On the other hand he said to the women Why do you seek among the dead The one who is alive As God he has risen Granting to the whole world the gift of eternal life. And it often in timpano ke horo, and it often in hordes ke organon. Epathes diastavru apathis din theotiti, ta fin kate dexo trimeron. In I must leave the roses, ek tis dulias tu ek thru, ke a thanatis a zopisis. I must Christe o theos dia tis anastase o su philanthrope. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. I venerate and glorify and extol your resurrection from the sepulchre, O Christ. Through it you freed us from the inescapable dungeon of Hades. And as God you have granted to the world eternal life, and the great mercy. Anastathi, Kyrie, O Theos, mu, ipsothi to ihir su, mi epilathi ton peniton su istelos, to zodo hon su mi ma frura endes paranomi, sindikus to dia estragisan to tuto. Sin de sos a zanatos teos que panto dinamos anestis trimero. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wondrous things. O Lord, when you proceeded to the gates of Hades and you had shattered them, then the prisoner cried out and said, Who is this? For not only is he not condemned to the lowest parts of the earth, but he has also torn down the prison of death as if it were a tent. I received him as a mortal man, and I tremble at him as God. O Almighty Savior, have mercy on us.
take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, Ros dexet in the sinimon, o kathimenos en dexia tu patros, que leis on of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the 
this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <coughs> For the devout and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Makarios, the honorable priest with the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this land, its civil authorities, and all its people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for our sacred archdiocese, for this city and parish, and for every city and land, and for the believers who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are traveling by land, or sea, or air, for those who are sick, suffering, or captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, anger, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God. God, by your grace, bringing to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and the Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable and glory incomprehensible whose mercy is immeasurable and love for humankind ineffable. Look upon us and upon this holy house in your loving kindness and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor and worship, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ευλογή ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και πάντα τα εντός μου το όνομα το Αγίον αυτού. Τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόπους, σώτερ, σώσον ημάς. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Κύριος εν του ουρανού, ετοίμασε τον θρόνον αυτού και η βασιλεία αυτού πάντων δεσπόζει. Τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόπους, σώτερ, σώσον ημάς. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Saviour, save us. Et que ti en irini tu kiriu deithome, αντιλαβούς όσον ελέησον και διαφυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη της Παναγίας αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινισμών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένου Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαντες εαυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθο Κύριο Θεός ημών σώσον των λαών Σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία Σου, το πλήρωμα της Εκκλησίας Σου φύλαξον Αγία Σου τους αγαπώντας την ευπρέπειαν του οίκου Σου, σι αυτούς αντιδόξασον τη θέικη Σου δυνάμι και μη εγκαταλείπεις ημάς τους ελπίζοντας έπισε, ότι σών το κράτος και Σου εστιν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού, και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. Save us, Son of God, who rose from the dead. We chant to you, Alleluia. Μακάριος ο Θεός, η ακοβοηθός αυτού, η ελπίς αυτού, επί Κύριον των Θεών αυτού. Σώσον ημάς, Ιε Θεού, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, σαλώντας η Αλληλούια. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Save us, Son of God, who rose from the dead, we chant to you, Alleluia. Glory to the 
Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Love now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you who are immortal and consented for our salvation to be incarnate of the Holy Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary without change becoming human and who were crucified Christ our God by death trampling on death you are one of the Holy Trinity glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit save us in peace let us again pray to the Lord Lord have mercy help us save us and mercy on us and protect us O God by your grace Lord have mercy bringing to mind our all holy pure most blessed glorious lady Theotokos and ever virgin Mary with all the saints let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord, you have granted us to offer these common prayers in unison and have promised that when two or three agree in your name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the petitions of your servants, as may be of benefit to them, granting us in the present age the knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, O God, a good and love humanity, and to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Afti meren episen o Kyrios, agaliasomethe ke flanthomen en afti. Εξύψους κατήρθεσο, ευσπλάγνος, τα φύν κατεδέξω τριήμερον. Ινά ημάς ελευθερώσεις τον παθό, η ζωή και η Ανάσταση σήμων, Κύριε, δόξασή. Let heaven and earth praise Him, You descended from on high, O compassionate one, and consented to a three-day burial to free us from the passions, O Lord, our life and resurrection, glory to you. Sophia, Orthi, Προσκυνήσομεν και προσπέσομεν Χριστό. Σώσον η μάση εθεού, ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, ψάλλοντας η Αλληλούια. Descended from on high, O compassionate one, and consented to a three-day burial to free us from the passions, O Lord, our life and resurrection. Glory to you. Nistiti kyrie os agathos ton dulon sun και όσα εν βίω ήμαρτων συγχωρήσουν ουδείς γαράν αμάρτητος ημισιο δυναμένος και της μεταστάση δούνε την ανάπαυση. Στήλει έμψυχος της εγκρατείας, στήλος άσυστος της εκκλησίας, στήλει ανέανε δείχθης μακάριε, 
Από πέδος γάρας κύσας ο σάσαρκος Ρεφαν και πέδων μπροστά της γεγέννησε Πάτερος η Εχριστό τον Θεό νικέτευε Δωρήσαστε ημιν το Μεγαέλεος Ως τον εχμαλώ τον ελευθερωτής και των τοχών υπερασπιστής ασθενούν τον ιατρός βασιλέων υπέρμαχος τροπέο φόρε μεγάλο μάρτης γεώργιε πρέσβευε Χριστό το Θεό σωθήνε τας ψυχάς ημών Αυστραλίας μπροστά της φρούρων τεόγρυπνων και του Αθωνός ο όρος τη λόνα η φωτών ανυμνήσωμεν πιστή θείων παΐσιών εξετούμενοι αυτού τας πρεσβείας προς Θεών κραυγάζοντες ομοφρόνος βρίου ο Πατέρ Παντιών τον του ξεύματον του αλλός το ορός. Υπερθένω σήμερον των προαιώνιων λόγων εν σπηλαίο έρχεται από τεκίν απορρίτως χορεύει οικουμένη ακού της δόξασον με τα αγγέλων και των ποιμένων που λυθέν τα εποφήνε πεδίο νέων των προαιώνων Θεών. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O holy God, who is resting among the holy ones, praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy voice, glorified by the cherubim and worshipped by every celestial power, you have brought all things into being out of non-being. You have created humanity according to your image and likeness and adorned us with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to those who ask, and you do not overlook the sinner, but have set Metania as the path of salvation. You have granted us, the clergy, your humble and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar of sacrifice and to offer to you altar of sacrifice and to offer to you appropriate worship and praise. Master, accept the Trisayon hymn also from the lips of our sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all our voluntary and involuntary transgressions, sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship you in holiness all the days of our lives. Through the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you, our God, are holy, and to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages.
Attentive. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure mm. of Christ's mm. gift. Prosefesius epistolis pavnu to anagnosma. Αδελφοί, παρακαλώ ημάς, εγώ ο δέσμιος εν κυρίω, αξίως περιπατήσε της κλήσεως, εις εκλήθητε, με τα πάσης ταπεινοφροσύνης και πραότητος, με τα μακροθυμίας ανεχόμενη αλλήλων εν αγάπη, σπουδάζοντας τη ρήν την ενότητα του πνεύματος, εν τον συνδέσμο της ειρήνης, εν σώμα και εν πνεύμα, καθώς εκλήθητε εν μία ελπίδη της κλήσεως ημών, εις Κύριος, μία πίστης, εν βάπτισμα, εις, θεα, εις Θεός και Πατήρ πάντων, ο επιπάντων και διαπάντων και εν πάσιν ημίν. Εν είδε καστο ημών, εδόθη χαρίς, κατά το μέτρο της δωρεάς του Χριστού. Peace be with you, the readers. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Sing to the Lord, let us shout for joy to God our Savior. Hallelujah. Προσωπών αυτού εν εξομολογήσει. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Σοφία ορθή ακούσουμε του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου, η 
Divini Pasi. Get up, Nevmati Su. The reading is from the Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. <clears throat> At that time, a certain nobleman came to Jesus, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus asked him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except one, God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honour your father and your mother. The nobleman replied, I have observed all these things from my youth. Jesus, hearing these things, said to him, You still lack one thing. Sell all that you have, distribute it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the man heard these things, he became very distressed because he was very rich. Jesus, seeing that he had become very distressed, said, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter into the kingdom of God. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for someone who is wealthy to enter into the kingdom of God. Those who heard this exclaimed, Then who can be saved? But Jesus replied, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Το καιρό εκείνο, άρχον της προσήλθε το Ιησού λέγον, διδάσκαλε αγαθέ, τι ποιή σας ζωήν αιώνιον κληρονομήσω. Είπε δε αυτό ο Ιησούς, τι με λέγεις αγαθόν, ουδής αγαθός, ημί εις, ο Θεός. Τα σεντολάς είδας, μη μοιχεύσεις, μη φωνεύσεις, μη κλέψεις, μη ψευδομαρτυρήσεις, τίμα τον πατέρα σου και την μητέρα σου. Ο δε είπε, ταύτα πάντα εφυλαξάμιν εκ νεότητός μου. Ακούσας δε ταύτα ο Ιησούς, είπεν αυτό, έτι εν συλείπη. <coughs> πάντα όσα έχεις, πόλησον και διάδος πτωχής και έξις θησαυρών εν ουρανό και δεύρο ακολούθημη. Ο δε ακούσας ταύτα περίληπος εγένετο, ειν γαρπλούσιο σφόδρα. Ιδών δε αυτόν ο Ιησούς περίληπον γενόμενον είπε, πως δυσκόλος οι τα χρήματα έχοντες, εις ελεύσονται εις την βασιλείαν του Θεού. Ευκοπότερον γαρεστή κάμιλον δια τριμαλιάς ραφίδος εις ελθήν, ή πλούσιον εις την βασιλείαν του Θεού εις ελθήν. Είπον δε οι ακούσαντες, και τις δύνατε σωθήνε. Ο δε είπε, τα δύνατα παρανθρώπης, δυνατά παρά το Θεό εστί Ο Απόστολος Παύλος στο σημερινό Αποστολικό Ανάγνωσμα καλεί κάθε άνθρωπο αξίως περιπατήσε της κλίσεως εις εκλήθη. Δηλαδή να καθορίσει την επίγεια πορεία του 
σύμφωνα με το θέλημα του Θεού που είναι η εν Χριστώ σωτηρία ως μετοχή στην Βασιλεία του Θεού της Αγάπης. Μάλιστα, η προτροπή αυτή του Παύλου αποκτά ιδιαίτερη βαρύτητα εάν αναλογιστούμε ότι την προσεφεσίως επιστολή του, από την οποία προέρχεται η περικοπή μας, την γράφει ενώ είναι φυλακισμένος, δέσμιος στην Ρώμη για το όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Είναι συγκλονιστικό ότι δεν ζητεί από τους χριστιανούς της Εφέσου να ενδιαφερθούν για να απαλλαγεί από τα δεσμά της φυλακής, να φροντίσουν να αθωωθεί ή να του στείλουν κάποια βοήθεια για να ανακουφιστεί από τις κακουχίες και τις στερήσεις της φυλακής. Τους παρακαλεί όμως να ζουν με τρόπο αντάξιο, άξιο. Αντάξιο εκείνου που τους κάλεσε στη νέα αυτή ζωή, στην κοινωνία της αγάπης του Θεού. Και ο τρόπος αυτός δεν αφορά στην συμβατική βελτίωση της προσωπικής, κοινωνικής ή επαγγελματικής του ζωής, αλλά στην φανέρωση της εκ μέρους τους αποδοχής της παρουσίας του Θεού. Τι ούτω τρόπος καταξιώνεται η ύπαρξη του ανθρώπου και θεμελιώνεται η σχέση του με τον Θεό και τον συνάνθρωπο στο επίπεδο της Ευαγγελικής Αγάπης. Εφόσον ο άνθρωπος αποδεχθεί την κλίση του Θεού, το κάλεσμα του Θεού, τότε η ύπαρξή του πρέπει να βρίσκεται σε μία αδιάκοπη επαγρύπνηση και ετοιμότητα, καθότι ελοχεύει ο κίνδυνος απορρίψεως της κλίσεως εξαιτίας του φαινομένου της αμαρτίας. Ω εκ τούτου, ο πιστός οφείλει να επιμελείται τα στοιχεία εκείνα που καθορίζουν την εν Χριστώ πνευματική του ζωή και πορεία. Περί αυτών κάνει λόγο ο Απόστολος, συνιστώντας να ζούμε με ταπεινοφροσύνη, πραότητα και μακροθυμία. Υπογραμμίζουμε ότι η ταπεινοφροσύνη είναι η υπέρβαση και η μεταποίηση της εγωκεντρικότητας, η οποία εγωκεντρικότητα προκαλεί μύριες όσες εμπλοκές και αδιέξοδα στην ανθρώπινη ύπαρξη, ενώ αποτελεί και την ρίζα κάθε αμαρτίας, ο εγωισμός. Ο Χριστός ζητεί να διδαχθούμε από το παράδειγμα της δικής Του πραότητος και ταπεινώσεως, διότι ο Θεός είναι κατεξοχήν ταπεινός. Ως ύψιστος και παντοδύναμος προσφέρει την εσταυρωμένη αγάπη Του αδιακρίτως προς όλους. Ο άνθρωπος που μαθητεύει στην ταπείνωση του Χριστού φανερώνει μέσα από την ύπαρξή του την ακτινοβόλο εμφάνιση του Κυρίου. Έτσι, με την ταπείνωση και την πραότητα προσφέρει στον συνάνθρωπο ευρυχωρία και ψυχική ζεστασιά. Με την δύναμη αυτών των αρετών αχριστεύεται και ο εγωισμός του άλλου, ο οποίος, όχι σπάνια, επιλέγει να ακολουθήσει και ο ίδιος 
την οδό της ταπεινοφροσύνης και όχι αυτήν του εγωισμού που οδηγεί στην απώλεια, την δυσαρμονία και την κατάτμιση της ψυχικής ισορροπίας. Με την μακροθυμία, την ανεκτικότητα, την υπομονή, ο άνθρωπος συνεχίζει να είναι επίικης και συγχωρητικός. Και στις περιπτώσεις που οι άλλοι ταράσουν την ψυχή του κατάσταση. Γι' αυτόν τον λόγο ο Χρυσόστομος υπογραμμίζει χαρακτηριστικά. Εάν δεν ανέχεσαι των πλησίων, πώς θα σε ανεχθεί ο Θεός. Εάν δεν μπορείς να υποφέρεις τον ομόδουλό σου, πώς θα σε υποφέρει ο Θεός. Όμως, εκεί που υπάρχει αγάπη, όλα είναι υποφερτά. Αμήν. Όπως υπό του κράτου σου πάντοτε φυλατόμενη σιδόξαν αναπέμπουμεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν.
is King of glory, the Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. In the yellow mystic gifts presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, anger, danger and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our, so <coughs> for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. 
that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Lord and let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame or suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, o Lord. Bringing to mind our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and Diva Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices both for our own sins and the failings of the people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts presented, and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us be loving to one another, that with oneness of mind we may proclaim Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity of one essence and inseparable. God the doors. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, through him all things were made who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became human and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Is Let us stand well. Let us stand with reverence. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to hymn you, to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. 
He brought us out of non-being to being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest or hidden that have been bestowed upon us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands, even though thousands of archangels and myriads of angels attend you, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabbath, with these blessed powers, Master who loves humanity, we also exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life when he had come and fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of salvation on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, he hallowed and broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Please kneel. Remembering therefore this saving commandment and all that has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming again. Your own, of your own, we offer you in every way and for everything. We praise you. We bless you. We give. offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood and we beseech and pray and entreat you send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts he presented and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 so that they may be for those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, 
confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. We offer you this spiritual worship for those who have reposed in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul perfected in faith. Especially for our all holy, pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Acciones Dino, O Salithos, Macaris Insert, Tin Theotokon, Tin Ai Macaris Ton, Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us has in mind, and all men and all women. And all men and all women. Remember, Lord, your holy great church, our sacred archdiocese, this city in which we live, and every city and land, and the believers who live in them. Remember, Lord, those who are traveling by land, sea, or air, those who are sick, suffering, or captive, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches, and those who are mindful of the poor, and upon us all send forth your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be with you all. And with your spirit. Having brought to mind all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts he presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God who loves humanity, having accepted them at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. You, Lord. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we beseech, pray, and implore you. Grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and confidence before you, not unto judgment or condemnation. Και καταξίωσον ημάς δέσποτα με τα παρησία σα κατακρίτως, τολμάν επικαλείστε σε τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγει. Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστήτω το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, 
γεννηθεί το το θέλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της γης τον άρτον ημών των επιούσιων δώσ' ημίν σήμερον και άφες ημίν τα ωφελήματα ημών ως και ημίς αφιεμέν τις ωφελέτες ημών και μη εις εν έγκυση μας εις πειρασμόν αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού Ότι σου έστεινε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe, and in the multitude of your mercy brought all things from non-being into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who are traveling, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for humanity of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Πρόσχες Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών εξ Αγίου κατηκτηρίου Σου και από θρόνου δόξη της Βασιλείας Σου και ελθέ εις το Αγιάσε ημάς ο άνω το Πατρί συγκαθήμενος και ο δε ημίν αοράτος ημών και καταξίως αντικρατεά Σου χειρή μετά δούνε ημίν του αχράντου σώματός Σου και του τιμίου αίματος και δήμων παντή το λαό. Πρόσχομεν τα Άγια της Αγίας της Αγίας της Κυρίας Ιησούς Χριστός της Ούχοντος, 
So the godless will not rise at the judgment, nor sinners at the gathering of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the godless is doomed. Why do the nations rage and the peoples cherish vain dreams? The kings of the earth take their stand and its rulers join forces together against the Lord and against his Christ. Let us break their bonds asunder and throw off their yoke from us. He who dwells in heaven will laugh at them. The Lord will hold them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and alarm them in his fury. But I am appointed king by him on Zion, his holy mountain. Εγώ δε κατεστάθη βασιλεύση π' αυτού, επί σιών όρος το Άγιον αυτού, διαγγέλων τον προσταγμα Κυρίου. Αλληλούια! I proclaim the Lord's decree. The Lord said to me, You are my son, Today I have begotten you. Kyrios i pepros me ios mu isi, ego simeron ye ye nikase, alleluia. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. Έτησε παρέ μου και δώσω σι έθνη την κληρονομία σου και την κατασχέσή σου τα πέρατα της γης. Αλληλούια! You shall rule them with a rod of iron and crush them like a potter's vessel. Ποιμάνεις αυτούς εν ράβος ειδηλά and now, you kings, understand, all you rulers of the earth take warning. Serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice in him with trembling. Embrace Christ.
correction and discipline, lest the Lord be angry and you perish through leaving the right way. With his fury suddenly blazes out, blessed are all who trust in him. Makari pandes ipepithotes epafto, alleluia. Lord, how many are those who trouble me? How many are rising up against me? How many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God? You, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. See the Kiri and the Lipter Mui, the Samu Cape, something Kefalin. I cry to the Lord with my voice, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I awake and rise, for the Lord sustains me. Εγώ εκοιμήθηκε ύπνωσα, εξήγε έρθειν ότι Κύριος αντίληψε Θε μου. Αλληλούια! I will not be afraid of myriads of people ranged on every side against me. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you strike all who vainly oppose me. You break the teeth of sinners. Salvation belongs to the Lord and his blessing is upon his people. Alleluia. <laughs>
bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. Taste and see that the Lord is good. and bless your inheritance. Ο Θεό ημών πάντοτε νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Amen. Ορθοί μεταλαβώντε των θείων Αγίων, Αχράντων, Αθανάτων, Επουρανίων και Ζωπιών, Φρικτών του Χριστου Μυστηρίων, Αξίω ευχαρίστησο μεν το κυρίω. Κύριε Λέισο, Αντιλαβού όσων ελέισον και διαφύλαξον ημά σου Θεό τη συγχαρητή. Κύριε Λέισο, Την ημέραν πάσαν. Τελεία Αναγία Νηρνική και Αναμάρτητον ετισάμενη, εαυτού και αλληλού και πάσαν την ζωή. Νημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθόμεθα. Σύ κύριε. We give thanks to you, Master, who loves humanity, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in reverence of you. Guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we offer glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to those in authority and to all your people for every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we offer glory, thanksgiving and worship, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Φιλά τον αυτά στην μακαρία ζωή την παρασύ φιλάνθρωπε. Και στην κατάπαυση σου κυρία, που πάντε σιάγει σου αναπαύονται. 
Ana pasun ke tas psikas tan dulon su eti monos i parki sa thanato. Doxa patri ke io ke ahi opnevmati si io theos i mono katavasis adin ke tas odinas lisas ton bepedimenon aftos ke tas psikas tan dulon su soter ana pavso. Kenin ke ahi τους αιώνους των αιώνων να μην η μόνη αγνή και άχραντος παρθένος η Θεόν αφράστος κι ίσασα πρέσβευε του ελεηθήνε τας ψυχάς των δούλων σου Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the repose of the souls of the sleeping servants of God, Theodora, Georgios, Dimitrios, Calliope, Domeniki, Argyro, and Mikhail Epaminondas, and that they may be forgiven every offence, whether deliberate or unintended. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord our God may place their souls with the righteous dwell for the mercies of God, the kingdom of the heavens, and the remission of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Ο Θεό των πνευμάτων και πάση αρκώ, των θάνατων καταπατή σα, των δε διάβολων καταργή σα και ζωή του κόσμου ο δορυσάμενο, αυτό κύριε ανάπαυσαν τα σπιχά των και κοιμημένων δούλων σου Θεοδόρα, Γεωργίου, Δημητρίου, Καλλιόπη, Δομνίκη, Αργυρό και Μιχαήλ Επαμινόντο, εν τόπο φωτεινό, εν τόπο χλωερό, εν τόπο αναψήξεω, εν θα απέδρα οδύνη, λύπη και στεναγμό. Πάν αμάρτημα το παραυτόν πραχθέν εν λόγω ή έργο η διανία, ω αγαθό και φιλάνθρωπο Θεό συγχώρησον, ότι ούκε στην άνθρωπο ω ζήσετε και ούχα μαρτήσει, σιγαρμόνο εκτό αμαρτία υπάρχει, η δικαιοσύνη σου, δικαιοσύνη στον αιώνα και ο νόμο σου αλήθεια. For you are the resurrection, the life and the repose of your sleeping servants, Θεοδόρα, Γεώργιο, Δημήτριο, Καλλιόπη, Δομενίκη, Αργύρο, and Michael Epaminondas. O Christ our God, and to you we offer glory with your eternal Father and your holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. and mercy of the Lord come upon you by his divine grace and love for humanity always now and forever into the ages of ages oh, glory to you our God glory to you glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit both now and forever into the ages of ages Amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Holy Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and blameless Holy Mother, through the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing ancestors, of the holy, great martyr George, the trophy-bearer, the patron of this church, 
of the patron and protector of Australia, Paisios of the Holy Mountain, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Yoikimanana, and of the saints whose memory we keep today, Alipios the Stylite, Nikon of Metanoite, and Stylianos of Paphlagonia, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God. The Efron ton Agion Pateron Imon, Kyrie Isu Christe O Theos, Eleison Kesos On Imas. Please be seated. I beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. This is the invitation that we hear today from the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 4, that we walk worthily according to the call or the invitation. So the question is, what invitation is this? What have we been called to do? And once we determine what that is, then we can work out what would be a worthy path that would match this invitation, that would make us worthy of the invitation. And it all has to do with our relationship with God. Our participation in the kingdom of God. Not something in the never-never, but something now. That we participate in the kingdom of God from now, such that we can acquire the eternity of that kingdom in the next life, in our next state of existence. We know that the letter to the Ephesians was written by Apostle Paul when he was in prison in Rome. And it is interesting that he writes this letter to the community, the church in Ephesus, in Asia Minor, two seas away, and he doesn't ask them to, can you help me get out of prison? Can you help me in my court case such that I be found innocent? Can you send me some monetary help so that I can get by? No. He doesn't ask any of this. He's happy to be in prison because he's there for a good reason. He has spoken and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and that was an annoyance. An annoyance to the authorities an annoyance to the society of the time, and he was put in prison with the charge of disturbing the peace. Not really a crime, but nevertheless, disturbing the peace. But what does he ask the church in Ephesus to do? He asks them to consider that they have been called to come into communion with God, to come into oneness with God through Jesus Christ. And this does not require some conventional ticking of boxes. This does not require some 
improvement of my personal life, my social life, my work life, although they can be positive consequences and positive side effects. That's not the primary aim here. That can come as a fruit of something that has to happen first. And that is that the presence of God needs to make itself manifest in your life and in your heart. That the message of love from the gospel becomes your life. Not a little bit, not just on the side, not just on the surface, not just on Sundays, not just as a token, a token expression of love once or twice a year, but that godly love as taught to us by Jesus Christ becomes everything about our life. Everything. Every action, every decision, every reaction to the dramas of life should be not just coloured by love, but determined by love. And of course, that is easier said than done. But that is the ideal. And that is the invitation or the calling that we have been given. If someone is to accept this calling, then they must understand that to know that they are abiding by this calling, their existence, their way of life, should be in a constant vigilance and readiness for all the dangers that appear in our lives, for all the dramas that appear in our lives, for all the experiences, the experience of sin, which is going off the path. That happens in our life. And we need to be vigilant and ready in order to deal with this phenomenon And so, what are some of the the characteristics of this spiritual life and path of Apostle Paul invites us to live by? He gives us a few foundational virtues. Lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and meekness, with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So, dear friends, the first and foremost thing Humility, meekness, patience, forbearance. Where do these things come from? The only way for these virtues to appear in our life, let alone develop in our life, is by the putting aside of our ego, putting aside our pride, and putting aside what I want. Because this ego, this pride, this thing we call pride is the beginning of all our dramas, let me assure you. And insofar as we are all in a prideful state and we are all governed by our ego and what I want, then there is more drama and more drama. This applies to family life, this applies to community life, it applies to society.
Everyone is stuck in their own echo chamber. So the beginning of any rectification, the beginning of any possibility of living according to the calling of God is to do the opposite of what everyone else does. Because what everyone else does is to do what I want. But when we teach humility, no one wants humility. We teach meekness. There's no place for meekness in this world. Everywhere you look, whether it's social media or the mass media, the image that we are all encouraged to reflect or radiate is my pride, to live by my beliefs. And yes, there is a place for living by our beliefs. But what if your beliefs are erroneous? What if your beliefs hurt other people? What if your beliefs are wrong and do all sorts of harm? You can't just have the principle of, I will live by my beliefs on its own. There has to be other principles and concepts that tie in to this. Because in our pride and flying our flag, whichever flag that is, and all flags have to do with pride, there is no humility, there is no meekness. We are the best. The flag that I salute, you must salute too. There's no meekness in this. There is no gentleness or love in this. And so it's either going to be pride or humility. It's either going to be my image and be what I want to be or what I was made to be, whatever that means. Or will it be meekness and patience and actually achieving something in life? Forbearing one another in love. Forbearing, tolerating, giving room to other, to the other. Sharing the space. That's what the Greek word synchorisis means. Forgiveness. The Greek word for forgiveness. Synchorisis. I fit in the same space as you. Choro, choros. Synchoro. We both fit here. It's okay. We can both be here. Forgiveness. Society doesn't want to hear about forgiveness. Society wants to achieve justice. And justice. In the name of justice, all sorts of injustice happens. Eager to maintain the unity of the spirit... In the bond of peace, this is important. Because you can seek the unity of the spirit without the bond of peace. You can seek unity and impose authority, but without peace, just by imposition. Because if you seek to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace, you do it the right way. Because you want to achieve peace. You want to achieve that calm and not more drama. There's a criticism, there's all sorts of debates out there, but um, one of the reasons that we are not the same thing as the Roman Catholics and one of the reasons we split a thousand years ago was a different point of view in terms of how do you achieve unity. The papacy, the Roman Catholic Church, insists on unity through one person, the authority of one person. Whereas the original church sought unity by the agreement of multiple persons. Big difference. 
And it's interesting that there are Roman Catholic spokespersons, and I say this with all respect, and they say, well, look, we Roman Catholics have unity of faith because we obey the Pope. But look at everyone else, both the Orthodox Christians and the Protestant Christians. They're not united. They have disagreements. And so they're constantly fighting and in disagreement. Uh, and the Orthodox answer to this is, well, you can have unity in the authority of one person, but what about some of the other aspects of the unity? Unity of faith. Is it just authority or is it agreement and harmony with Scripture? Agreement and harmony with the original church. Agreement and harmony with each other in this day and age because disagreements, I would think, are part and parcel of life. And through disagreement you come into a dialogue and through that dialogue you eventually come to a resolution. And that explains why the Orthodox Church is not a dictatorship, but is a mixed governance system called the concilia system. It has councils. It has multiple voices. And so through dialogue, that unity is achieved. And that explains why we have unity of faith with 2,000 years of faith. Whereas the Roman Catholic Church, with the insistence that, well, if the Pope says this, that's what we're doing, even though he might not agree with the Bible, is still acceptable to the Roman Catholics. For us Orthodox Christians, that is not acceptable. You need to have consistency, harmony, and agreement. And agreement does not come by imposition of authority. Agreement comes by agreement, by dialogue. So this is a clear big difference in terms of governance between, in our case, the Orthodox Christian Church and, in the, in the case in point, the Roman Catholic Church. This was not meant to be an insult to anyone, uh, given that if you were to go online, you would find Roman Catholic spokespersons making their point in their way. And so, my dear friends, Answering the call has to do with a holistic expression of what that means in our life. Certainly remove the ego, certainly remove the pride, certainly remove the selfishness and embrace the meekness, the humility, the peace, the forbearance, the patience, the forgiveness. I will finish with a beautiful quote from St. John Chrysostom. If you cannot tolerate the other, how will God tolerate you? If you cannot stand your fellow servant, how will God stand you? Wherever there is love, everything is tolerable. Food for thought. And now for the announcements. There's a lot going on and I seek your attention in the lead up to Christmas. There's a few things going on. Um, you can pick up our December and January schedule of services, which includes Christmas, New Year and Epiphany. All our uh, educational activities are running this week as per normal. Our seniors group is meeting this Tuesday, 10 a.m. and it will be the last meeting for the year. There will be some Christmas themed celebrations. Please bring your friends, um, and when we say seniors, yes, that includes you, 70-year-olds and 60-year-olds. Seriously, I've got 70-year-olds saying, I'm not senior. That's okay. We don't want you to consider yourself senior if you don't want to consider yourself senior. It's a good social group. Gets you out of the house. Get you to meet people, 
Don't leave it for the 80 year olds. By the time you're 80, you can't even come to this event. So please consider, it's a good socialising group. This Tuesday, 28th of November, 10 a.m. onwards. Christmas hamper drive. This is important. Our church is organising a charity drive. We are requesting everyone, when you go and do your Christmas shopping, in the same way you say to kids, look, you can spend this much, go get whatever you like. Get them to come shopping when you do your shopping and have your children with you to do the shopping. Christmas is a time of giving. And for our children to realise that for us who have, it's good to give. And so we have a shopping list that we've created. Pick up this flyer from the front, the Christmas themed flyer. And go shopping. The items on the list would be helpful for people who are homeless and people who are in need. And you will see the practicality of some of the um, items, which include toothbrush, toothpaste, and so on, but also food, canned fruits and other food. A bit of a Christmas pudding, like a Christmas-themed thing can go in there as well. Uh, things like Christmas mince tarts, uh, sweet and savoury biscuits, long-life milk, that will help. Um, and things that uh, can practically be used by uh, the homeless, but not just the homeless. And what we are going to be doing, because we will be giving some of this stuff to poor families, uh, that explains the variety in the home, in the uh, shopping list. So we invite you to start bringing these items. In the hall downstairs, you will see a Christmas tree in the foyer of our church hall. The church will be open all week for the next um, two weeks, uh, collecting these items. And on Friday the 15th of December, which is only in a couple of weeks, uh, we will invite you all to come so that we can assemble the bags and the hampers and it will be another good way for our children to participate in a bit of a conveyor belt uh, system. Our target is 250 hampers, so we will need all the help we can get and all of your support, each and every one of you, each and every family, uh, to participate with this drive. Please pick up this flyer and participate over the next two weeks. Today, our Sunday school is organising an end-of-year concert. We invite all of you to be the audience for our children downstairs. Uh, you will pick up the andidoro yourselves so that we can just speed up the process while I do the catalysis and divest. Uh, and then I'll see you downstairs so we can start as soon as possible. Similarly, um, on the 10th of December, the Greek school will be running their end-of-year event and uh, put it in your diary so that you are in attendance as the audience for that event. Our Young Adults is running this Thursday night, that is from 18 years old to 29 years old, 7.30pm in the hall downstairs. And uh, I thank you for your attendance today. Sorry, a couple more announcements. There is a monastery stall selling Christmas gifts in the hall downstairs. And one of the schools is running a fundraiser with Curabiedes in the hall. Uh, you can support all those initiatives. Don't miss out on this concert. Pick up the flyer from the front. This does not happen all the time. It is a musical, dancing and orchestral piece that has been created. Uh, that speaks about the Asia Minor catastrophe, the genocide that happened 100 years ago where the Christians of Asia Minor, both Greek, Armenian and Assyrian, were entirely wiped out um, by the Ottoman Turks at, at the death throes of the Ottoman Empire. And this will tell the story with music, dance and orchestral music. 
Don't miss out on this event. Please pick up the flyer. It's going to be in the State Theatre this Friday, 1st of December. You can book through Ticketmaster um, and we seek your presence at that event. Thank you for being with us. Please come forward, take the Andidoro yourselves and I will see you downstairs. <laughs>